Hey guys, I'm here with my March favorites video. I'm going to start off with my favorite new piece of clothing that I bought this month. And it's this Supernatural print t-shirt from Topshop. Um, I really, really like this one because the bright neon triangle just pops when you wear it and it looks really cool. Um, the skull print is cool as well, but I also love that it says Supernatural. Just because, one, I love anything sort of magical and kind of supernatural. Um, inspired, but also because I love the TV show. And I know this is not an official TV show shirt or anything, but representing my boys, the Winchesters, to my favorite clothing items of the month. I have a sort of a vibe I was going for this month quite a bit, so that's what I'm going to focus on today. And it's a collared shirt look. So this one I wore when it was a bit warmer. It's just a sleeveless cobalt blue um, button-up. It's silk. It's vintage. I got it at Sub Rosa uh, in the market, and it was in my last haul video. Um, really like this. And then I wear it just um, done all the way buttoned up. And then I put these little fine gold necklaces underneath so it kind of tucks under the collar. Um, and these ones are just a little wolf necklace from Urban Outfitters that's really old. And then my um, gold plated arrow necklace from, um, oh crap, what's the brand? I also wore this silk button down when I went to go see The Hunger Games, which you'll hear more about later. Um, it's from Equipment. So this one is quite expensive because Equipment makes, in my opinion, the best silk shirts. And I feel like button downs, I only really love them if they're silk just because they're so much more comfortable. Anyway, with this one, I layered it with this sweater over it, which I really like this look. And then the tails of the shirt peek out the bottom. Um, and then the collar peeks at the top. This sweater is just from The Gap. I got it in Nashville, but if you uh, are looking for something similar, I know that Mango has some right now, very, very similar to this, but they're Kriegman um, baby pink colored. And then I ended up wearing this also over a chambray shirt, I think the next day or the day after, so I've really been liking that look. I love a navy blue crop sweater, so versatile. And you can always wear these just on their own with high-waisted things, and it looks really cute. So. Favorite shoes of the month, because it was a little bit warmer, I broke out my flats. I wore these studded um, Topshop loafers. They're just uh, suede at. They're like not a real suede, just fabric, but they look really cool. They're sort of Christian Louboutin inspired. And you can find these all over. I don't think Topshop still sells them, but I know that there's a lot of similar stuff. If you just check eBay or shop style, just type in studded loafers. My other flats I really love are these Oxfords. They're by F Troop. I got them last year. They were quite expensive. They were about $180, but um, they're just the perfect Oxford. They're mesh, so they're very comfortable to wear without socks. Um, and they don't make your feet too hot, so you can wear them in the summer. And they just look really cool, and I've never seen anything else quite like them. I would have loved to also get the pink pair, because I think the neon would be so cool as an accent. But um, the store there where I bought these didn't have them. And also, I didn't want to spend like another $180. Um, considering I wear these, but I don't wear them like every day. So I didn't think that was a good investment. Moving on to my favorite bag of the month. I want to show you guys my favorite tote bag. I use it so much when, I, when I'm going to the park or the beach, when I need to carry around my laptop, when I travel. It's um, this Dylan Panthers tote bag with the number 33, which is um, Riggins' number. If you guys watch Friday Night Lights, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then <laughs> you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But it's a reference to that TV show. And I bought this on PrepSportswear.com. And I'm just going to show you the website. So, yeah. So they actually have Dillon, Texas as one of the schools, and you can get all the graphics that go with the Dillon Panthers um, line. You make it yourself, so it's not like it comes pre-done. I also um, made t-shirts on there. These are just little Dillon Panthers t-shirts with Riggins 33 on the back. I have one for Saracen as well. And you can get the stuff that's more like what a Texas football teams actually buy for their members and for their supporters because this website would supplies the majority of high schools in Texas and it's very much similar to the stuff that's actually worn on the TV show. This one is just a size small if you're interested in sizing the Alternative Earth t-shirt um, is what I would recommend. So next I'm going to talk about my favorite accessory of the month and they're these Spy Optics Burrow sunglasses. They look like that and they have the spy symbol on the side kind of look a little bit wayfairy, you can see them on me. I really love Spy, a friend of mine is uh, the Canadian rep for Spy. It's an older item, I'll usually have to buy it myself, but if it's a newer item, he can usually get it for me. 
And yeah, these are a pair that he gave me last summer. So they still make this style, but it uh, came out last year. And I just really like these. I think they look really cool. And they're unisex. My boyfriend wears the same pair. I mean, I love fashion-y sunglasses. Like, I love Prada's glasses, Chanel, Burberry. But I also love, like, Super and Ray-Ban and Karen Walker and things like Spy um, that are a little bit more streetwear. My wish list item of the month are the Chloe Susan boots. I saw a girl wearing them the other day in person. They're just so beautiful. And they've always been a wishless item of mine. When they sold out, I was kind of gutted. I look for them on eBay all the time, and they're always so expensive. Sienna Miller has them. Kate Bosworth has them. Um, all my favorite style icons wear them. And they're just such beautiful boots. They remind me a lot of Desperately Seeking Susan of the rhinestone set of boots that Madonna wears. And I'll put a picture so you guys can see what they look like. They got re-released this spring. They came in green, red, off-white, and black, but they are $1,200. Like, uh, I can't even think of spending that much money on shoes. But if I can find them on sale, I would love to pick them up. I do have another wishlist item that is more accessible, and that is Harley Davidson and Truck Stop t-shirts. So this is a truckers only t-shirt, and you can see that because it says Truck Stop in the back. And this one is also a truckers only t-shirt. I really, really like the look of these. Um, I'm also really into Harley Davidson ones and Harley Davidson sweatshirts. Adam Levine on The Voice wears one every week and it is so freaking nice. I mean, I'm sure he paid like a fortune for it, but I love it so much and I really want to try to find one similar. I think they look really cool. They're very kind of rock and roll without being the, the usual band tee that you see quite a bit. I'm hoping I can find a lot on my road trip this summer and um, I look for them all the time on Etsy and in local vintage stores and on eBay, but uh, it's hard to tell the texture. I really like the ones that are soft and worn in. This one is amazing. It's like threadbare. My random favorite of the month, and it is uh, my new iPhone. I got the iPhone 4S in white about almost two weeks ago now. Now, technically I bought this yesterday, so it's an April favorite, but I've bought an I bought a couple iPhone covers online and none of them have come yet. So this is the only one I have right now. But I really, really like it. It's from Aritzia. It's by TNA. And it's just this neon white kind of Aztec design. Really, really cool um, iPhone cover. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a summery one with some neon, definitely check this out. They're 20 bucks. They have other colors as well. They don't pop quite as much as this one. The one thing to know, because it's white, is that it does get a bit dirty, especially if you have makeup on and you hold it to your face, but you can easily just wipe it down, and mine hasn't stained. Now for makeup and beauty, I only have three items to show you. First one is the big shampoo from Lush. I am obsessed with this shampoo. I saw it on Miss Glamorati's channel, Ingrid, then I saw it on Elle's channel, and I had to go try it out for myself. It's a sea salt shampoo. Um, like going everywhere but it just really looks like salt inside and you literally use the smallest amount it lathers amazing on your scalp and it makes your hair so shiny so light and voluminous it's just really really amazing it is a little bit abrasive on your hair the woman told me that if you have colored hair, it can change the color slightly. Um, it also brings out your highlights quite a bit. It kind of lightens your hair a little bit. I don't have colored hair, so I don't have a problem with it lightening my hair or anything. Um, it doesn't really smell like anything, so if you like shampoos that smell really nicely, it doesn't really smell too much. Um, it doesn't linger on your hair. And also, I always put a leave-in conditioner on my ends just because I have really long hair, so it's dry at the bottom. Just because this can dry your hair out just a little bit, but it's really good at creating lift at the root if you have long hair. So I definitely would recommend it for long hair. It's so worth the money. It's, I think, t over $20, but you use such a little amount and you get amazing results right away. A um, makeup item of the month is the Powder Wowza palette um, from Benefit. It has Hula Bronzer, it has Coralista Blush, and it has Bella Bomba, which is a face powder, pink face powder. This came in my Lux box. I've joined that program. I like it. Some months it's not as good as other months. Out of the programs available to Canada, I definitely think it's the best. I really love Coralista. It's this one here. I use it as a blush pretty much every day. It's sort of their take, I think, on NARS's Orgasm blush. Um, I really wanted this palette, though, for Hoola, because I don't really have a bronzer, and I heard it's one of the best ones, because it doesn't have any shimmer. 
but I cannot figure out a way to make this blend well on my skin. It just makes my skin look dirty, and I don't know if I'm using too much or if I'm not using the right brush. If you guys have Hoola, you can leave me some suggestions below. Are you supposed to use this little brush? Because I don't. I use like a, a blush brush. If you guys can help me out on that, I would love some suggestions, but I really like this product. I think it sells for around $30. Uh, in stores, but like I said, I got it in my Lux box, which um, is $12 a month. So yeah. One more thing I wanted to mention for beauty and skincare is drinking a water. I've been trying to drink more water. It's really good for migraines and headaches and um, being alert and just feeling better about yourself, and it's really good for your skin. So I always keep a water bottle nearby filled up so that I just can drink out of it throughout the day, and it's it's accessible to me because if I don't have water around I will not drink any all day like there's some days when I drink like a coffee and that's it I'm really bad at drinking um, liquids so this is my new moon team Jacob water bottle um, that's the one I usually keep when I'm at home my boyfriend always has one too he uses my best friends um, water bottle I also have like a Victoria's Secret pink one and if you just keep them in your fridge the water stays cold and you will always have it on hand so it's really really a great tip my favorite TV show of the month is a mixture between The Voice, which I love. It's the show um, that my boyfriend and I watch together because we both really love Blake Shelton and Adam Levine. And it's fun to see the competition of the show, even though I think some of the singers aren't that great. Um, there's always some standouts every year. I love CeeLo's team this year. I think he has one of the best. And also Ringer. I know it's more than likely being canceled after this year because nobody watches it. But it's really good. Like, it's a little bit cheesy. It's kind of like a nighttime soap. But it's quite exciting and something crazy happens every episode and I think Sarah Michelle Gellar does a great job on it and I really, really like that show. So if you guys haven't seen it, um, it's probably not going to be on next year, but definitely check out the older episodes. Next for Movie of the Month, definitely The Hunger Games. I loved it. I thought they did an amazing job. Jennifer Lawrence was just amazing in it. Um, probably my least favorite part of the movie was Peta's character. I wasn't really drawn to that actor. I thought he did a good job, I just thought he wasn't perfect for the role, but um, I love Jennifer, I love Lenny Kravitz in it, I love Woody Harrelson in it, um, and I just thought it was amazingly well done, so I'm definitely psyched to see the rest of the films in the series. For songs, I've been listening to a lot of classic rock, um, The Band, Kansas, ACDC, ZZ Top, Led Zeppelin, Bob Seger, um, I've been really into that this month listening to a lot of Usher, his new song Climax, actually that can be my song of the month. I love that song. Kansas is probably my favorite classic rock song at the moment. It's called Carry On, Wayward Son. They use it a lot in um, Supernatural and it is an amazing song. Also by Bob Seger, Turn the Page. It was covered by Metallica, much more famous from them, but it's an incredible song. So those are my songs of the month. My artist of the month is Yellow Wolf. I was supposed to go to his concert, but he in the hospital, and unfortunately it was cancelled. And I was, luckily it's been rescheduled, and I'm going to be in Toronto when it occurs, because it's like the week before I leave on my road trip, so I'm so psyched that I'm going to be able to see him. My favorite album of his is his first independent record that he did. I think it's called Trunk Music. Uh, I really, really, really love that record, all the songs on it. From his new album, I'm sort of still listening to it. I love the song with Kid Rock, which is called Roll... Roll on, roll out, roll on, roll on. Yeah. I just tweeted about it today. If you follow me on TNS Cindy, you would have heard about it. And he's incredibly cute, and he's a skateboarder, and he has lots of tattoos. And he's from Alabama, which I really like. <laughs> anyway. Uh, book of the Month is Labyrinth. It is a, a look into how Tupac Shakur's murder... Notorious B.I.G.'s murder, um, the LAPD kind of scandal, uh, and Suge Knight and Death Row Records are all connected, and how um, they're all involved in the deaths of those two rappers, as well as other crimes, and just how the LAPD stopped the murders from being solved. And this detective, um, Russell Poole, basically was assigned to these cases, and he had all these leads, and was told constantly by his superiors to not put things in reports, to not follow those leads, to just stop investigating, and it happened after the O.J. Simpson trial and after the L.A. riots, and how those things sort of affected the decisions made by the higher-ups at the LAPD. They were afraid of riots, they were afraid of race issues because Russell was white, and um, the Killers Were Black. It's just a really interesting book. Um, Randall Sullivan, who's the journalist who writes it, 
does an incredible job of making real life information into a really interesting narrative. It's so hard to put down and usually I find with autobiography or biography or any kind of investigative book it can get a bit boring at parts. This book was not boring. I loved it and it goes into a lot about even the, the past of the rappers and how they're kind of idolized but yet like the, a lot of them were quite bad criminals and to say that Suge Knight was the one that had these people killed I mean that's theories that are put on in the book but like you can't say I can't say that he did it basically because he wasn't proven guilty or even charged for those crimes but um, this book makes a very strong case for that and um, if you're at all interested in hip-hop in crime um, journalism you need to read this it is a fantastic book make sure you guys check out my book review videos I do monthly reviews now my favorite youtuber of the month is Fiona from Fiona Vacation. Um, this is her channel. She is such a pretty girl. She has great style. She does fashion videos and favorite videos and hauls and outfits of the day. And she's a she's a Canadian girl. She lives in Ontario. She's a cool chick. She's got great style. If you want to see some cool videos, definitely check her out. Um, I love her. And for my blogs of the month, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Ami. She um, has a blog called Song of Style. She's incredible. She's an amazing Instagram as well. I'm sure you've heard of her because she's quite popular. A picture of her and her sister from her Instagram, which is just gorgeous. So she's just stunning. She knows how to put outfits together so well. So definitely check out songofstyle.blogspot.com if you want to hear more from Ami. And finally, I wanted to mention my Tumblr, which is called True North Loves, and it's truenorthstyle.tumblr.com. And I just changed the layout of it. I'm absolutely obsessed with this layout. Woo! Don't drop the computer, Cindy. Um, if I can just scroll down. It's just really it's such a clean, large photo lim uh, layout. And if you ever want to see like what I'm into at the moment, kind of throughout the month, I always post pictures of my favorite fashion uh, inspiration as well as music and videos and travel and interiors and television and cute guys. <laughs> so definitely check it out. I am obsessed with my new layout and um, I love my Tumblr. It's definitely my favorite out of all my blogs, my YouTube channel, everything, because it's the most me, like it covers everything I love. Look for a lot more tweeting and Instagramming now that I got my iPhone. My Twitter and Instagram is the same, it's TNS Cindy, and definitely um, subscribe to me if you want to see what I'm doing out on the go. So yeah, anyway, this is such a long video, so I'm going to go. Bye guys!